Welcome to the Fredestein Academy, where we will teach you everything you want to know about your tires. If you take a close look at your tires, you might have noticed many different markings and symbols on its sidewall. Have you ever wondered what they all mean? If so, then keep on watching. First, of course, the name of the manufacturer is mentioned on the sidewall along with the commercial name of the tire. This series of numbers are the size markings of your tires, starting with a section width of the tire. The number right next to it is the aspect ratio, the height of the sidewall expressed as a percentage of the section width. Then there is a letter next to it. The letter specifies the construction of the carcass. The number stands for the rim diameter in inches. Additionally, there is a number with a letter attached to it. The number implies the load index, corresponding to the maximum amount of weight the tire can carry when driving its maximum speed rating. The letter suggests the speed rating, which is the maximum speed capacity of the tire when driven with the maximum carrying capacity. As you can see, there are even more symbols on this tire, each one having its own function. The M plus S symbol stands for mud and snow, which implies that the tire is suitable for usage in winter conditions. This symbol is called the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake, or 3PMSF symbol. Tires marked with the 3PMSF symbol meet the requirements of special winter tests and are true winter performance tires. Moving on, this E number is the European approval number. Along with the European approval number, there is the S2WR2 code, which imply that the tire is sound, wet grip and rolling resistant. Then there's also the DOT code, which stands for Department of Transportation. It consists out of the code of the production location and the code of the tire size. There's also the option to add an additional code by the manufacturer. For example, when the tire is specifically made for a particular brand of cars. The DOT code also contains the date and year when the tire has been manufactured. The first two numbers specify the week and the last two numbers point to the year of manufacturing. Some tires have a specific rotation direction, which will be indicated by this symbol. An asymmetric tire shows what is the inner side. Finally, this icon shows where to find the tread wear indicators to see if your tires have worn out. More information about this can be found in our separate video about tread depth. Now you know everything about the markings on the sidewalls of your tire. Thanks for watching and check out the other videos we provide to learn more about your tires.